world be? Would there be artworks on every sidewalk, wall, and ceiling taking place of all the bombs that muddle the, the innocence of all? Would hunger be solved by a simple rhyme like sharing is caring? Would we all be fighting wars with not with the lives of countless brave soldiers, but with the slightly hateful words of no ah uh, and ya ha, which would be quickly followed with a undocumented peace offering because, you know, fighting isn't nice. Is it possible that we would never fully understand the difference between American and Ugandan? Is it probable that racism would be a myth in this childish world, just like a kind stranger is in this one? Would we all trust the people the moment we met them and never have the glass frames of the memories shattered? Would we ask questions not caring about how dumb, repetitive, or obvious they might sound just because there's a chance that someone out there might be on the same wavelength? That maybe a million miles away from us is this very second is a man, woman, or even a llama could be wondering these words alongside us and coming up with their own conclusions, their ideas, their opinions of what this world would be like. And the only way to get this perfect image out of their head is to write it down on every surface that they can. On sidewalks, walls, ceilings, in their whining words warm themselves in, and their rhymes stick like glue and thought waves of anyone who's willing to listen. And they will fight words of uh, wars of hate with of, of discrimination and heartbreak with slick phrases that roll off with their tongues and the phrases that they don't speak, for sometimes poetry isn't what is written, it's what's not said by the poet that makes the difference. So I'll ask you one more time, if everyone was a poet, how different would the world be? Oh!